Hello, David Alvarez right here. Um, I wanted to get a video in. Uh, I wanted to talk about a few things um, about uh, Epic Chef, um, about the future of my channel, and my new t-shirts. Can you see them? Uh, this is a, a basic pattern. You know, somebody who doesn't want it too wild out or, or crazy patterns, um, this will be the one. Major League Chef gear down to the bone. I have my hockey number, which is my birth date. Um, I played pro roller hockey for uh, 14 years um, with DC Voltage. You know, a lot of the teams down there. You know, people bash pro roller hockey, but in the 90s, we were playing out of NHL arenas. Um, just didn't catch on. Um, coached a pro women's team to a championship in 2000. So um, winning's in my blood. And uh, so these t-shirts will be out. I have a bunch of different ones coming, so comment, like, uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, it's going to be sports oriented with the t-shirts because I feel that the industry just don't have, is not bringing anything that's wearable in public. You know, I want to represent a, being a chef or a culinary industry. You know, I'm not going to wear bell pepper pants everywhere. Okay, I mean it's just not hip, and and I want this to be current, modern. So. Um, please comment and, and give me ideas. You know, it's going to mainly be based on property of, you know, Major League Chef gear. Be that this style, you know, comfortable. This is a ultra cotton, 100%. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to have any cheap, cheap shirts. Going to try to keep the cost down, but you know, it's getting tough for these days. But we'll definitely try to uh, keep the cost down. Um, I wanted to talk about um, this particular one down to the bone and and down to the bone has a couple meanings down to the bone is uh we use stocks and sauces we use a lot of bones in the industry if you want to make a good veal stock chicken stock you know you need bones uh so that's one aspect of this meaning and the other aspect is um down to the bone is is my culinary industry me being a chef this industry you have to be down to the bone to succeed or to be involved in this business mm. It's not an easy business. You have to have a thick skin, and uh, you need to be able to take a lot of crap from customers, bosses, um, workers. You know, even your dishwasher gives you, you know, bust your balls. So uh, I, I wanted to let you know, December, I don't know how many videos I'm going to be doing, but the future of this channel, I hope I get bigger. Um, I'm going to start off with basic videos. I, I want to be able to you know, cut lettuce, cut tomatoes. You know, I want you to know basic sauces at home. It can save you a lot of money. So um, that's what I want to be able to do. And I want to talk about Epic Meal Time, which was uh, a lot of fun for me. I had a blast. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, it was different. You know, I'm not used to that kind of competition. Somebody's, you know, yelling at you and screaming at you and, and uh, working with the ingredients that we had in, in the small amount of time limit we had, you know. It said we had 45 minutes cooking, but you really don't have 45 minutes with people stopping you and taking the shots, but it was a blast. Um, I was there to win. It wasn't fake. Uh, I'm, 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 I take winning seriously. Um, I like having a good reputation. I like being a competitor, but I like to entertain, and I understand the entertainment value. Um, and the guys from um, Epic Meal Time, Harley, all them, there's some cool people. Never took offense to it. Duff, one hell of a culinarian. Uh, D Storm, you know, hell of a rapper. He should have ate my pork, but you know what can I say? Um, I'm not gonna sit here and cry about it. I'm gonna just compete and move on. So, um, please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at chef underscore david seventy one, um, and please uh, stay tuned.